growing up, I had stained front teeth and that wasn't really a problem to anyone around me at the time. You know, we were all like, we all had little quirks about us. So my little quirk probably was my brown teeth. <laughs> now thinking about it, that's it's a funny way of looking at it anyway. <laughs> it's a really funny way of looking at it. <laughs> I was made conscious about my smile or my brown teeth when I got to high school. For context, I went to two high schools. One of um, one of those high schools was a public high school and no one really cared about anyone in that school. So you could have brown teeth and, or you could have like one eye that looked like a dragon's eye. No one really give a fuck. So am I allowed to curse? Should I bleep that out? I, I'll think about it. When I went to my second high school, it was, or when I transferred schools, the second school that I went to was a private school. And people there were a lot more willing to tell you what they thought about you. And it was, it was a, now that I think about it, kind of a toxic environment, simply because there was a sense of freedom that I found that was just, overwhelming like wow you could really do that here oh my goodness the previous high school that i was in was a little strict so in this school people were willing to tell me what they thought about me and that wasn't necessarily a bad thing because i was always in people's faces i was like on a redemption arc at the time so i wanted people to know me to see me to know that i could do this do that and one of the things that came up was my smile. So my folks decided, you know what? Let's get your teeth whitened. And I remember this holiday, I just went, I didn't even tell anyone I would get my teeth whitened. I just went home, came back <laughs> to school. And when I smiled, the first person at the gate was like, yo, what's up? And then my teachers, yo, what's up? And when it got to the students, oh my God, it was like, yo, what's up? So there's this one guy, there's this uh, one friend of mine at the time, he was the loudest of us, uh, charisma everywhere. <laughs> he carried that joke through like for a semester or two. It was almost better for me to not have had my teeth whitened. <laughs> Looking back, it was amazing that that happened because it didn't get to my head like to the point of like, ah, oh, I now look better than I did before because now my teeth are like, eh. I'm thinking about that song, Crooked Smile, and I think, I don't know, it just fits me. I don't know. You know what I really look forward to? My gold wrapper teeth, my grills, and my jewelry. That's what I look forward to. I look forward to stunning these bitches. My God, you don't even know. You don't even know.